Hey, my name's Kat, and today I did this really fun look inspired by Batman the movie from the 60s, and this is inspired by Catwoman's makeup or her alter ego Kitka. So this is one of the looks that Kitka wore, and I also did the look that the actual Catwoman wore, you know, when she had on her suit and her mask and her ears. I don't have ears, but hopefully you still like the look. So if you're interested in this look at all, then keep watching because you'll see how I did it. Both looks. Part one and two. All right, so starting out, I already had my skin done. And so I just jumped right into brows because I feel like the brows are part of what really make the look, the brows and the eyes, I guess, too. So for the brows, I kind of did a similar thing to my Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown brow, um, where I don't fill in like my arch like I normally do, but the difference is, is that you flick out the tail. Like flick it out like a cat eyeliner. Um, so I feel like that just looks so cool, and I might even do that sometimes in my everyday life you can kind of see it there and then I put some make me brow on it and then for the eye look I just took a small angled brush and a taupey brown from the 35O Morphe palette and you can see I drew out the crease and then I took a small elf crease brush and used that to start blending um, and then I realized the shape was a little bit off so I picked up a little more product and um, it kind of takes shape. I feel like the other eye was better, but you can kind of see what I did where I used the two different brushes and I picked up um, a lighter cream color from the same palette and just kind of used that to clean up and blend things out. And I put a little bit on my lid. Um, and then on the other eye, I feel like it went a little more smoothly because I had already done it once. And um, I just kind of drew my crease blended it out and I feel like this shape is kind of like a winged liner but just a little bit of above the crease and I feel like um, in the movie the shape was a little more severely going upwards but I feel like I don't have as much space in between like my lash line and my eyebrow to make it go like straight up like hers but it's I still like the way it looks and so you can see that shape is better on the side I think um, and so you can see that I used that cream color, um, kind of sandwiched. And then I did some liner, kind of off camera. I think it thickened it up a little bit on camera, um, just so you could see. And then I just put a little bit of the taupey color from before on the lower lash line. Not a lot of lower lash line work. I put on a little bit of peachy blush from Makeup Revolution palette, and I did some contouring. I did my contour a little bit lower than I normally would, and I actually really liked it. Like, I used to do my contour low, and then more recently I've been doing it higher, but I feel like it looks it looks good um, where I did it. And I just did a little bit of nose contouring, personal preference, and then I got my 35S Morphe palette, and I mixed um, a kind of frosty blue and a white to do my brow highlight and I was like hmm, I'm fine with it being more blue so I just picked up the blue by itself on a really small like detail -y brush and did that and then I did my mascara off camera and got into lips um, I used this NYX lip liner and um, filled in my lips you can see there's a swatch of it right there and then the lipstick I chose was on the left um, which is NYX Temptress. It's the matte lipstick, the old matte formula. I know they came out with a new one, but this is the old one. And then um, I used the Wet n Wild Contour Duo, and I just used the yellow shade to kind of highlight a little bit because I felt like she looked really bright and highlighted. So then I went straight into the Catwoman look, and her brows have these little spikes coming off of them. It actually is really reminiscent of the cat's um, like from the musical, that's what it reminds me of, and so um, I just did a spike coming off the front, coming off the arch, and then I just kind of exaggerated the flick and made that one of my little points on the brow, and I love this so much. I know I've I said it in the intro and outro, but I just really like it. 
I added a little bit more blue, and then I just intensified my blush using a more corally one, and that's the end. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you like the look because I really like it. Alright, so here it is. I feel like um, Catwoman pulls off the brows much better than me, but I feel like the brows are such a great touch and they looked so light and feathery um, and I actually have a photo set of um, Catwoman from the Batman movie from Batman the movie um, on my blog so I'll do a link in the description to the post where I have all the pictures of her and she actually wears a few different makeup looks when she's Kitka um, and she has like blue on her lid at, at one point and um, in the first picture in the photo set it looks like she has blue under her brow so I did the blue initially but obviously if you wanted to recreate this you could skip the blue um, so sometimes it looks like she had the blue and sometimes it didn't but um, I think it really helps tie in the look and really makes it feel 60s which it is and um, also Ben Nye did the makeup for the movie which I think is just so amazing. I've actually seen a few older movies where um, when the card comes up saying who did the makeup it's Ben Nye and I'm just like oh, because I love it. I love it. I love his work. So um, I actually tried to put she has these huge curls at the end of her hair. I tried to just do a little flip but you can see it's already falling so I tried and I didn't realize how long my hair was like her hair is Quite a bit shorter than me or maybe it's just like rolled up more but I was doing this and I was like oh my hair's gotten long so just one last look at the look I love it I think it's so fun um, I've been listening to the sugar cubes because I love Bjork's voice like the things she can do are magical but I've been listening to the sugar cubes and because I thought I would like it um, but it's so odd like the guy comes in and he's singing no he's not singing he's like yelling like Bjork is doing these vocals and he's like sniffing gasoline like over Bjork singing and I'm like why what but that's not really related, is it? Brows on fleek. <laughs>